season one of the Hunger Games is here. Um, so yeah, I decided to finally do it. Um, so today we're just going to introduce the tributes and we're going to move into the house and I'm just going to explain the rules as we move along. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this season. Um, yeah, <laughs> have fun watching this and I'm just going to show you the contestants right now. And we have the one and only Robert Downey Jr. Um, <laughs> he doesn't really look like Robert Downey Jr., but you, maybe you guys don't even know who he is. He's the guy that plays Iron Man. I know. But, uh, yeah, so he is a genius, good sense of humor, heavy sleeper, brave, and a vegetarian. I don't think vegetarian is going to help him out in the Hunger Games. I actually do not think he is going to win at all. Um, he's just... He, I, I, I don't have high hopes for Robert. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we have Lady Gaga. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of you probably going to be like, well, she doesn't look like Lady Gaga. Well, I didn't really know how to detail Lady Gaga besides, like, the hair in one of the pictures. And, yeah, and maybe the costume because, who knows, she wears tons of crazy costumes. But um, she is ambitious, artistic unflirty, vegetarian, and virtuous. And yet again, vegetarian is not going to help any of the Sims out, and virtuous maybe earn a couple dollars here and then to buy yourself a meal or whatever. But other than that, they really don't have any, like, special traits or anything like that. So, yeah, this is Lady Gaga. Um, so, yeah. It's Edward Cullens, the sexy-ass vampire. Um... He is athletic, charismatic, daredevil, excitable, and irresistible, because which vampire isn't irresistible? So, yeah, he is, he, I guess he doesn't, like, look like Edward Collins, but, um, I kind of just went off by Google pictures, but, yeah, he's a vampire, so I think he might have, like, a, an advantage being a vampire and being athletic and a daredevil, because, like, that's an advantage. So, he has a good head start on the Hunger Games, so let's see how that goes. And Katy Perry, who is a fairy. Um, she is a great kisser, hopelessly romantic, light sleeper, easily impressed, and flirty. I don't think she has an advantage, but be- well, I guess she has one advantage, and that's being a fairy, and I think she may win this, like, high chance she may win this, and I, I'm kind of rooting for Katy, um, Let's go, Katie. So it might be a competition between Katy Perry and Lady Gaga, but um, I'm hoping Katy Perry wins this. In a way, I, I I'm cheering for Katy. And Ozzy Osbourne, um, he's an elder, which I don't think he's gonna have a good advantage. And he's absent-minded, handy, couch potato, loser, and evil. Um, yeah, he's wearing eyeliner. That's kind of weird for guy, but whatever, whatever floats your boat. But um, yeah, he's. I don't think he'll win at all. <laughs> so yeah, he he's uh he's he's got a good amount of competition to go up against. And we have Snooky, <laughs> the before Snooky before she lost all her weight. Um, she's excitable, a gatherer, a bookworm, flirty, and hopelessly romantic. Honestly, I do not think Snooky has a chance. You know, maybe she does. I, I, I can't even predetermine this. I'm rooting for her slightly because I love Snooky. I love my Nicole. But, um, yeah. I think I went by her name. Yeah, I went by Snooky. I, I don't know. Do you have to have a last name? We'll go Snooky with her last name. I don't even know how to pronounce her last name. Poliz? I don't know how to say it. Maybe she needs to be a bit a little darker. There we go. There we go, Snooky. Add a little bit more suntan or maybe spray tan, whatever we use. But there we go. There's Snooky. And we have Liam Payne. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. He's part of One Direction. Um, I'm not a fan of One Direction. Um, but I, I, oh, someone on Twitter said to put Liam Payne in because Payne. I don't even know how to say his last name. But he's athletic, adventurous, hopelessly romantic, hot-headed, and inappropriate. Yeah, he's he's a he's a heartthrob. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. Um, I kind of hope he wins. I kind of don't. I'm not. I'm still rooting for Katie and Snooky, but Liam Payne. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I like when people said P Liam. I was like Liam Hemsworth. They're like no Liam Payne. I was like, 
or pan or whatever. It sounds like pan, but okay. So this is Liam. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, mm -hmm. me. <laughs> yes, me, Caitlin. Um, I'm not gonna put my last name, but it's Caitlin Sim. So this is me. Not doesn't look anything like me, but uh, athletic bookworm, computer whiz, hopelessly romantic and flirty. Man, I have no chance of winning. <laughs> So this is our Hunger Games family, and this is the Hunger Games Season Part 1 family. Um, it's processing, it's processing a lot of people, um, and I'm going to be honest, I'm really excited to play this. Look at Edward Collins. Mm, are they all just roommates? I hope so. Okay, we're good. Yay. So we just moved into our area where we're going to be staying and everything like that. Um, big thanks to Vetro Simmer for building me this place last minute. Um, because I couldn't have been able to make this. Um, so it is a big congrats to him. Um, okay, so I'll just check you around. You come in, like, you kind of, like, I, I already, like, kind of scoped it out. It's really nice. Um, but you only only have one bedroom and a little napping place. I don't think you, you can't nap on the little chairs, so that's okay. And you have to be a couple if you're gonna sleep in this bed. I mean, like one person can sleep in it, but if you're not, a, if another person wants to sleep in it, you have to be a couple with them. Um. Okay, that's weird. Default. Anyways, um, this is the kitchen area where we're going to like make sure they only get three meals or like. Only three Sims get three ma a meal a day. Um, then we got like the dining room area, I guess. Um, that's pretty cool. And yeah, it's it, I like it. And then you got the you know, I showed you the bedroom, and then you have the bathroom. Yeah, so it's 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 pretty good. If you watch K-pop play this, then you'll know the award house, which was over here. Um, of course, we're gonna have to lock this. Um, Robert, lock the doors. Lock everybody. Yeah, everybody's not allowed. Anyways, this is the award house. So the winner gets to stay in this. I don't know how for how many days until the next um the next. Ugh, I can't even speak, but yeah. So this is the swing pool area, which was fenced off. Thank you, and um the other area where all the other stuff <laughs> happens um so yeah let's get into it calm down caitlin calm down <laughs> snooki's like where's my alcohol oh my god everybody's just who the fuck are you and then there's liam check out these motherfucking abs <laughs> Steroids did you good. There's Katie, beautiful as always, and then there's Lady Gaga, beautiful as always. They're both wearing weird costumes. Eh. Okay, so um, we're gonna get. Okay, well, you guys are already moved in. Nobody cares. Um, make sure the walls are all the way down. Uh, okay, we're gonna have serve brunch. On salad. <laughs> so Robert Downey Jr. is gonna cook some food, and then they're gonna feed three of the Lucky Sims. Looks like Caitlin and Edward Collins are gonna make a cute couple. <laughs> Ozzy and Lady Gaga are taking a dip in the pool. <laughs> okay, so Katy Perry is going in. Woo, Katy! Go in, okay. Bargum, Who else is going in? Oh, oh, Caitlin is going in. Ah, sweet. Now there's one more spot left. And Robert got it before Lady Gaga could take it. Ah, oh, poor Lady Gaga. Oh, <laughs> sorry. 
Okay, so this is uh this is not even like an episode. This is just like introducing the contestants, showing the rules. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Um yeah, so see you guys.